So finally, Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus with Mars 2023 security update is rolled out. And today in this video, I am going to give deep review of Pixel Experience Plus ROM that I have installed on my Redmi Note 8 device. I'll also explore all of its new features, updates, customizations, benchmark scores like Antutu benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 6, CPU throttling test and many more of this Pixel Experience Plus. So let's start the video. As you can see this ROM is based on Android version 13 and this is Pixel Experience Plus ROM which has Android security patch of March 5, 2023 and if you look at the kernel version Quicksilver kernel is used in this ROM. Camera. So let's kick things with camera and talking about camera this ROM comes with aperture camera which has photos, videos and scan feature. And from this camera, you can take video up to 4K resolution at 60 FPS and everything in this camera is working perfectly. And in its previous version also, this room had same aperture camera available. Antutu benchmark score. Moving towards benchmark scores, I'll start with Antutu benchmark and as you can also see the Antutu benchmark score that this room provides is 201856, which I consider a good score comparing to other rooms. Geekbench 5 score. Now let's see some Geekbench scores and also Geekbench 5 result and talking about the score, the single core score is 294 and multi core score is 1214 which is a good score. Geekbench 6 score. Moving towards new Geekbench 6 test result. As you can see for single core the score is 309 and for multi core the score is 1148 which is a good score because in latest evolution x 7.7 .7 ROM the Geekbench 6 score was 319 and 1115 and the score of evolution x is little higher but overall they both have similar result. CPU throttling test. After conducting all the benchmark tests, I'll now show the result of CPU throttling test. I have performed this test for straight 15 minutes and it's good to see that no any CPU thermal throttling is detected. And the average score is 147654 GIPS which is a very good score. And in latest evolution x 7.7, .7, I have tested this same test and CPU has throttled to 93% of its maximum performance and the average score was 139581 GIPS. <laughs> Safety net status. So now after performing all the CPU and performance related tests, I'll perform safety net test and as you can see it has passed the safety net compatibility test. And under play protect certification on Google Play Store app, device is certified as well. Quick settings. So this is how quick setting panel looks like which comes with some useful tiles like sound amplifier, recorder, calculator, MI sound, QR code scanner and more. Settings. Now let's explore what's new inside its settings section. At first there is network and internet where you can find private DNS but this does not come up with any custom DNS provider. Apps. In its app setting, you won't be getting game space feature and if we look at its default launcher, pixel launcher is available in it. And inside its home screen, you will get at a glance option and can do little customization as well. And if you look at its recent app section, you can get options like app info, split top, free form and pause app. But unfortunately, uninstall option is not included here and if you look down below, you will get two options and that is screenshot and select option. Battery. Moving towards its battery setting, you will find four different options like battery uses, battery saver, adaptive preferences and turn on light when charging. And from its battery saver option, you can also enable extreme battery saver to extend your battery even more. Display. And in its display setting, you will get screen timeout option where maximum time limit is 30 minutes and screen attention feature is also missing here. And if you go back, you will see dark theme and inside it, you will find no any extra customization except schedule option. Custom theme option is still not present in this room. Wallpapers and style. Inside its wallpaper and style setting also there is no any changes made you will find same features like wallpaper colors, basic colors and other additional features like dark theme, themed icons and app grid and this app grid has up to 5 into 5 sized option. System 
Inside your system setting, you will find gesture setting from where you can perform different gesture related customizations like from its press and hold power button option. You can choose between power menu or digital assistant and if you want to use advanced restart mode then you can simply enable it from here. And also in gesture setting, our favorite feature swipe to screenshot is present which is working perfectly and when you take screenshot, you will only be able to share and edit that screenshot you have taken. Delete and search lens feature is still missing here. <laughs> Buttons Inside button setting, you will get click to partial screenshot button which will allow us to take partial screenshot after short clicking volume down and power button together which is a helpful feature status bar and in system setting you'll also find status bar option from where you can do some status bar related customizations like you can enable network traffic monitor option which will show current network speed on the status bar panel google photo storage and if you're wondering whether you will get unlimited google photos and video storage on google photos app then don't worry you will get that feature on this room and no need to worry about having out of storage so this is all about the latest Pixel Experience Plus ROM with March 2023 security update. In my opinion, the ROM is good and provides enhanced security with the latest update. However, I did not notice any significant changes compared to the previous version except for the updated security. If you are looking for improved security, then you should definitely update to this version. However, if you are expecting major improvements and changes, then you may be disappointed. Please feel free to share your own experience and thoughts about this room in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like our video, then don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to Cracks Void. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.